scientists actually have a specific name for it. They call it oobleck. Oobleck. Hmm. It's not a normal solid. <laughs> it's weird. It feels good. Oh yeah. Have you heard of oobleck? the water and cornstarch concoction that's famous on the internet. It can resist a punch, but it melts with a light touch. So what happens if you throw a bouncy ball at it? Will it act as a solid or a liquid? What about an egg? Will the egg break? What about human ankles? What about these ankles? I'm going to throw a whole bunch of things at it, including myself, to help understand the phenomenon. <laughs> Let's make some oobleck. I'm gonna be mixing it in a ratio of one part water to one and a half parts cornstarch. How many scoops did I get in? You weren't counting, I wasn't counting either. I was hoping the producer knew, but we'll figure it out together. So what we're actually doing is making a suspension. What that means is the particles aren't dissolving. They're just kind of suspended in the fluid, hanging out. So if you think of like dirty, muddy water, it's the same thing, except this suspension behaves very interestingly. I think we're happy with this. It feels good. It's acting pretty oobleck-y. Oobleck is something that's known as a non-Newtonian fluid. Something that has different properties when force is added to it. Now it is time to throw some things on this. When I drop a bouncy ball, will the oobleck turn solid or will the ball sink? Just to prove that this is a bouncy ball, so it does bounce, but will it bounce off the oobleck? Oh, that's cool! Okay, so it bounced, which means the oobleck is definitely behaving like a solid because I threw the ball with force. Now I'm gonna break some eggs. Or hopefully not break an egg because the oobleck is gonna stop that from happening. Egg in the bag, it gets everywhere. I just really don't want this egg to break so I'm gonna load up the bag. All right, we have our oobleck egg. Let's do it. Come on, egg! <laughs> <laughs> I can feel an egg in there. Let's dig it out. Hey! It didn't break. So the kinetic force was absorbed by the oobleck instead of going back into the egg and breaking it, which means my water to flour ratio is spot on. I just keep playing with it. It's really fun. Now, will I be able to run on oobleck? I think so. The key thing is to keep exerting force because as soon as I stop running, the oobleck will act like a liquid and the force of gravity will pull me down into the oobleck. I will be standing in liquid oobleck. So for the mega oobleck mix, I'm gonna stick with my earlier one part water to one and a half parts cornstarch ratio and hopefully that will work. Oh no, I broke my spoon. I'm gonna add the cornstarch in now. Oh, I forgot to add the food coloring again. I wanna make purple so that it would look like I'm stomping great. It's a workout. Oh boy. And if you punch it, you can see that it ripples away. All right, time to stomp some grapes. you're standing on a box above a giant tub of what you know is a liquid, it feels really scary. Okay, high knees. Ah! Oh, this is cool. I forgot to take my socks off. I'm starting to sink slightly. It's barely even on my socks. Well, I'm unsteady been requested by some people that I sing. So I'm gonna do that. Let's go, okay. Oh no! I really should have taken my socks off for that one. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> How to 
does it work? How do we explain what's happening here? Well, there's actually still a lot of research going into this phenomenon, but what they think so far is basically, imagine that these are two particles of cornstarch, and they're really, really, really tiny. In fact, they're 100 times smaller than a grain of sand. So they're influenced by things like their electronic charge. So cornstarch particles have a neutral charge, which means that they repel against each other. So if they're hanging out in a suspension, in some water, they're gonna avoid each other and slide past each other. And when you put your hand in it and you move around slowly, they continue to slide past each other. But when you enact force, it squeezes the particles together and forces the water out from between them. It overpowers their repulsion that's happening due to their charge. So if you think of it in that way, essentially there's two opposing things happening here. There's either repulsion or friction. And repulsion is what's happening when it's acting as a liquid, and friction is what's happening when it's acting as a solid. I think it's pretty cool that you can experience something that kind of baffles scientists right in your home. If you've got something that you'd like explained, please send it in. I love a challenge, although maybe let's make it less messy next time. If you wanna see more videos like this, then hit the button below and subscribe to ABC Science.